Hi, you guys, and welcome to the rubber room. It's me, Chris Kelly, and I'm going to share some of my retreat. I had a retreat last weekend. It was a fall retreat, and um, we went through uh, four classes made with things from the new mini catalog that were featuring fall items. I'm trying to get my camera or my lights up here and ready and make sure I'm in the right spot. So bear with me for just a minute and we should be all set. Some of these things I can't get going until after I'm on Facebook. So it takes me just a minute and I can see that I am live. It looks like I'm a little down for you. Okay. So Last weekend, we had a fall retreat, and it was so much fun. I absolutely love our retreats, and um, it gives me a chance to highlight some of the things in the new catalog. And this catalog had so many things in it that I had to um, break it up. So this month, I did fall. In August, I'm going to do celebration, and in September, we're actually going to start our holiday stuff. So, I'm going to share with you, first of all, what our day kind of looked like. And everybody got a packet like this when they came in. This is a half a pack of 12 by 12 harvest paper. And then in here <coughs> are their card kits. And their paper is actually used because... I cut all of the pieces that they needed to make their cards with. So what they get is the leftover pack. And then they also get these pieces. This one, um, there were four classes and three cards in each class. So we focused on the cottage wreaths, the splendid thoughts, perched in a tree, and Harvest Hello. Those were the four stamp sets that we focused on. And there are packets for three cards, materials for three cards in this packet. And so those were the materials that they used throughout the day. And we actually had door prizes and raffles and prize patrols, so lots of fun things. But in addition, they did come in and they got a goodie bag. So this was their goodie bag. Our theme for the day was cherries. So um, I made some cupcakes, some vanilla cupcakes with a cherry filling. And all of their goodies focused around cherries. So we had this cherry limeade soda. And I did just a little bottle topper for that. It says, first of all, you're amazing. We used that cherry bundle from the um, new annual catalog. And then their bag also had just goodies in it that they were gonna use throughout the day. So it had some linen thread, a whole pack of linen thread. And these are the adhesive backed sequins gems. And then they had some cherry head candy and some cherry cordial kisses and some now and later cherry flavored. So that was in their bag, and then they did get goodies throughout the day. So this one was just a little bag with a hand sanitizer tucked inside it. And again, all of the um, table treats for the day were focused on the um, cherry stamp set and punch. And then they got our new um, treat bags. So these come in craft and white, and there's 10 of them to a package, five in each color. And then this is a new ribbon for us too. And these are just some wild cherry taffy candies. And then this one is the red and green adhesive backed pearls. So everybody got a pack of those. So that was kind of what our day looked like. We did um, door prizes and prize patrol and table treats and everybody just kind of got spoiled throughout the day so let's see what we made okay our first class was made with the let's see where it is in here and i'll show you that to start with it was the harvest bundle let's 
Let's see if I can. I marked them all so I can find them really quick. Okay. So here it is. And this is the um, Rustic Harvest Suite. So that there's a whole suite of products with this one. And the first one is the Rustic Harvest Designer Series Paper. So this one has some great papers in it. Uh, this one you can just cut and use just like it is. And of course it's two-sided. And this one is black and white on the back of it. And that Cajun craze is a great, great fall color. And then you have this great pumpkin one, which coordinates beautifully with that. And it also coordinates beautifully with this. So that's kind of a great threesome combo there. And then it's black and white on the back. And... And it has this gourd paper. I probably should have cut these six by six for you guys. Um, it has this gourd paper, which goes beautifully with this crushed curry. And then on the back, again, they're black and white. So if you're black and white, it's um, easy to add some color to it with your blending brushes. Lots of great ways to um, kind of customize it or embellish it and make it your own. So everybody got a half a pack of that. But in the bundle, it comes with this stamp set, which is the Hello Harvest stamp set. Move that out of the way for a minute so you can kind of focus on my... So this is the Hello Harvest stamp set. And you can see it has um, stamps and sentiments and then some um, great objects too. So you have a pumpkin, you have sunflowers, leaves, and these are just little doodads that we use that were really pretty. And of course it has coordinating dies that go with it. Some of my dies and stamps are missing because they're still in the baskets from the weekend. And then it also comes with these leaves and these are super cute leaves. Sure, why not? There we go. And they have gems inside them. So it's a combo pack, and there are 50 pieces to it. So let's let's just open up. You can um, emboss these leaves, and they're really cool when you emboss them, but they're cool when they're not embossed too. And they have little holes in them, so they're great for tags, for bags, even if you wanted to. Or if you're giving somebody some zucchini bread in the fall, or apple cinnamon rolls, something like that, they're, it's a great packaging um, accessory. And then I have used, this This comes in a whole pack, but I have used some of these. So um, they're great, they're kind of a coppery gold color. And they do have adhesive on the back of them. So that comes with that bundle. And the other thing that comes with, or I'm sorry, with the suite is um, it is an embossing pack. So if you love to emboss, heat emboss, this is kind of a cool little uh, tool and you can buy this separately you don't have to buy the whole suite in order to get this so you have the stamping tray where you can just sprinkle your powder right into the tray and then there's a little nozzle thing at the end so you can unscrew that and then dip your or put your powder from here from this tray back into your embossing powder container so that is a really cool thing and then we have this great brush, which is really kind of soft. So if your um, embossing powder gets where it's not supposed to be, you can easily use this to brush it off. And then you have these reverse tweezers. These are really, really sturdy tweezers. And they are great, especially when you're embossing something that's really small. And um, I use them to hold on to everything that I emboss so that when I heat it with the heat tool, it doesn't go flying away. And then of course, you have this beautiful new embossing buddy. And for those of you that haven't used an embossing buddy before, it's kind of like powdery. 
if you can see the powder coming out there when I bang it. And what it does is you um, brush it along your paper before you stamp it and before you emboss it. And it kind of demagnetizes it so that if you have a fingerprint on it or something that the embossing powder would um, collect on, it gets rid of that. So your embossing powder won't stick there. So this is the rustic ha rustic harvest suite of products so you can order with one order number sorry about that noise you guys didn't realize that was going to be so loud so you can order with one order number and get all of those things and that order number is on page 48 of your mini catalog and then it has some more really great samples on page 49 and you can see they've kind of embossed these um, pumpkins. So they have a, a little bit of machine embossing on them, which is really, really cool. That's called dry embossing. Okay, so what cards did we make? You guys wanna know? Here they are. This one says, you are such a blessing. And we use the twine here in those little um, metallic pearls that they got. It opens up this way and this way. So it's kind of a trifold. And then we did this one. In this one, we used those little squigglies and um, the sequins. And then we did some coloring and there's some twine there. And then this one, we just used that gorgeous piece of paper and just cut a piece of that paper and stamped a sentiment and added some uh, sequence. So it's just a gorgeous card and very little work. It was super, super easy. And then the next class we did was with the um, Splendid Day. So it's the Splendid Day Suite and it is on page 64 and 65. And this suite, I just love all of these samples from this suite. So I knew I had to have that one. Plus, um, when you buy this suite, it includes these gold leaf trinkets. And they are so pretty. They're open so you can see through them. And then this really pretty um soft sea foam seam binding so that's really soft and then of course the um splendid that's a bundle and the designer series paper so let's take a look at those products here's your stamp set and again it's one that it's kind of artsy in that this doesn't really fit tight in there and neither does this one so you can color these images or you can two-step stamp them and get more of an artsy feel to it. And then it has these sentiments. And the sentiments are, you know, I love when they do two fonts together. And a lot of mine are still over on the table because we used them for the class. And um, the next month, I will be sharing these classes with you for my Wednesday Create with Chris Live. I will be doing one class each week throughout the month. So you will get to see how these cards are made. And this is that great seam binding. You can see it's almost see-through, really thin, and it makes, it makes tying bows really easy because it is so thin and then the paper and this paper is there are pieces of it that are metallic so it is kind of flat on one side and then metallic on the back and i've used some of it already but you can see how gorgeous this is this is the metallic piece and I hope you're not getting too much of a shine on it. This is again one like that one that was in the harvest pack where you could just cut that piece of paper and um, make a gorgeous, gorgeous card with it. And then it has that really light, soft seafoam ferns on it. And then this one is Sahara Sand. And it just has a really, really light kind of textured pattern to it. And then it has this silver kind of foil with leaves and flowers on it. And then you have this one, it's kind of a purpley 
which is just gorgeous. Different leaves. Leaves. And then it's purple in the back. So you can see this would coordinate with itself. Just, just gorgeous. And then here's that same one in kind of a gold. Okay, let's wait to see that one. And then here it is in the metallic with the seatbelt. If you can see, there's a little tiny ladybug right in the middle of that. Let me see if I can get it up close enough so you can see it. I have a little bit of a delay. There it is. She's right there. She's so cute. There's, I think, four or five of her on there. I don't know why I say her because I just think a ladybug has to be a her, right? <laughs> and then you have it in this copper. And kind of a um, coral, Calypso coral. So gourd, it's a, just a really gorgeous pack of paper. So there is a lot in that suite. And again, you don't have to buy the whole suite, but everything in the suite coordinates. And you can use just one order number to get everything all at once. And that is on page 64. Four. Oh, I wanted to show you the trinkets that kind of fell off over there. So these are the trinkets. And you get 20 of them in there. So they are a good size. And they look really good on top of that brown leaf that I just shared with you from the other suite. Okay. So this bundle is on page 64 in 65 of the mini catalog and then um and that's it so you can see lots of samples there and you can order them um, piece by piece and that's what's on page 65 and on page 64 is the whole suite used together okay so what do we make with them right you guys want to see Excuse me. So we made these three cards. This one has a little vellum piece that we die cut in the back of it. These two pieces were um, stamped and die cut and colored using the blends. And then we have a um, paper embossed in the background and a little bow with the linen thread that everybody got. This one, we used the brick and mortar embossing folder in the back, and then we just sponged some craft white ink on it. We used the sequins here, and this is a piece of that designer series paper, and we used lots of little die cuts as filler, and then the colored parts just kind of popped it. And again, some of the linen thread. And this one, we kind of spun the linen thread around behind it, and use some of our sequin pack back here. And this is the, I think it's called the Fabulous Frames die cut with some of the designer series paper. Really, really pretty. So that was our class with that one. And then the next one we did a, a class with was the, um, I think it's perched on, let's see. It is called perched in a tree. And this one was not part of a bundle. I mean, not part of a suite, but it is a bundle. So you get the die cuts and the stamp set together. And the reason I had to buy this, I, I love birds, number one. But number two, the dies for this are so cool. And I like that you have this little sprinkle kind of for the background. And of course, the um, fonts where they have two different, or the sentiments where they have two different fonts. I really love. But the most intriguing part of this stamp set for me was the dies. And you have this die, these two, you actually have two leaf dies that have all those little veins in them. So when you cut those, those veins kind of are embossed in them. It's really, really gorgeous. And then you have this one. And this one was the one that caught my eye that I just loved. And it is like a silhouette of trees. Super, super cool. And then you have the stamps that it coordinates with. So you actually have a die that will cut the tree branch 
and the bird. And then you have a die that cuts what looks to be like um, flowers or leaves around the edge. Beautiful, beautiful samples in the catalog of that one, too. And that one is on page 46. And here are the cards we did with it. Because it's watercolor month, we had to do at least one watercolor card. So this is the one we did with that. And always when you're doing watercolor, you want to stamp with a stays on. And we use the water painters. And this is a, a DSP in the background there. And then I just sponged some ink onto the back of my words. This was the deckled rectangle die. And that is a die that's in the um, new annual catalog that is going to be one of my favorites. And then, of course, the background die that looks like the um, silhouette of the trees. So more of that linen thread. We kind of had to do... <laughs> some Halloween ones because it's really not fall without Halloween right so um this is some of the designer series paper that they got and the witch's hat and the stars are from I think best witches or um bewitching it's called bewitching and it's a bundle with a punch that coordinates with it and then we just used our blends to color some of our linen thread entire bow for that and then this is the um tags terrific tags die cut piece and then this is we have a pack of paper called gold and rose gold and it is like the shimmeriest paper it is so pretty and then we have a little bit of gold and um rose gold and white ribbon in the back that we just kind of frayed on the edges and then our sentiment, and we did cut out some leaves for this one too. And then the little um, pieces that they got as one of their table gifts. So that is our perched in a tree class. And for our Halloween ones, we did the um, bewitching, which we didn't use any of these stamps, but they are really great Halloween stamps. And I will be having a Halloween class in my August class group. So we will be using this for that. And then it has the coordinating punch that goes with it. So you get the hat, a little band for the hat, and then three different stars on it. And then we also used this one called Best Witches. I love this little frog. I don't know what it is about him, but he is so stinking cute. And it says Best wish Best Witches, which is this, the one that we used in there, but I love this one. If you've got it, haunt it. So you'll be seeing a card made with that sentiment very soon. Okay, so our last one, this turned out to be kind of a quick answer, kind of a long little pop-on, right? I didn't think I would be that long, but the next one is made with this Gingham Cottage Suite. And this suite has this beautiful rose stamp set. There's one of those bags again. And like I said before, we have, um, I used the one in white for one of our table gifts. And this is the craft. So in the package, you get a craft and a white. So very cool. And they have some great samples. I love this slimline card here. And I think this one is really cool, too, with all the little spaces in it. So you can buy it all together as one with the um, just one ordering number on page 58. Or on 59, you can kind of piecemeal it out, okay? So you have... Um, this is a combination of pearlized enamel effects. So these are just little droplets. You can make lines with it if you want to, but you're just gonna open them up and just give it a little squeeze. So you get a nice little dot like that. You can do a squiggly line. So you can put it on thick and make a little design with it. You can do a straight line. Let's see if I can get it going. For a straight line, there we go. 
So you can do lots of different things with it. And you have these three great colors and you can see the samples that they made with it. You just have to be sure you give it a little bit of time to dry. And how long it takes to dry is gonna depend on how thick you make your little dots. So there is a pearlized enamel white and black and red. So you get all three colors when you order them. And then you have this really cool it's um, almost like a real, um, they call it twine. It's, they call it silver threaded twine. And I'll see if I can get it up there so you can see the little silver threads in it. But it makes a great bow, like for a um, fall basket kind of thing. Very, very cool to do. And really easy to work with too. And here's what your stamp set looks like. So. Again, you can go Halloween with it. You can go Merry Christmas with it. You can go grateful for Thanksgiving with it. So this is kind of like the perfect stamp set for all three of your fall holidays into the winter. And it does come with coordinating dies. And one of the new things that they're doing with these dies is some of them, I guess it's the solid ones I have at the other spot. They have little tabs on them, so you can line them up really easy to cut out your um, dies or your stamped images. And then they have this package of paper. And um, this package of paper has um, 48 sheets of paper in it. 48 <laughs> sheets of 12 by 12 paper in it. And I'm just going to kind of flip through them this way. Let me make sure I'm in there where you guys can see me because they're all different colors, all different sizes. Let me see if I can, I don't wanna go through them all one by one, but they are two-sided. So you have all of these great colors with the prints on them. Let's see if I can, if I could figure out a way to show these to you guys. They do have a great picture in the catalog too. So here we kind of go. You can see you have blue, or I'm sorry, you have reds and blacks and grays and pinks, yellows, greens, all kinds of really great fall colors. And then they have the little patterns on the back. So the backs of them are all black and white. So your backs will go with anything. And they have kind of a crisscross, but you have a color on the front and then black on the back or this black gray combination. And those are both very, very cool. And when you're looking at it in the catalog, they show you each of the patterns and the colors, obviously. But at the bottom of this page, they go through the colors that it coordinates with. So you know which colors it coordinates with when you when you go to order it. And again, you can order this kind of piecemeal here if you just see one or two things you'd like, or you can take the one order number from the suite and order the whole suite, okay? And this is our last class. So these are our last cards. This one, this is my favorite background um, die. I absolutely love this little die with all the diamonds in it. I think that's so cool. And then this one. This one we actually stamped lots of little leaves and they stamp three on one stamp and then you have the die, but I love the die for the ribbon. I think that die for that ribbon is really, let me see if I can get it up there, really, really detailed. And there's distinctive stamps. So we like stamped the acorn just really lightly in our crumb cake. And you got the dark image on the top and the light image on the bottom. And let me see if I can get that in there. That's because it is a distinctive stamp. So your stamp is um, kind of different levels to it. And we used our um, stitch rectangle dies for that one. And then here is our Halloween version. So we used some of the Halloween paper from that the, um, Halloween suite of products and some black twine. 
here's your little rhinestones here. And then of course you've got the boo and then your wreath in the spider. So we kind of put them all together there. So that is a lot of cards, right? And they're all made with products from this gorgeous mini catalog. And the um, black and white paper that we talked about is right down here on the same page with the best witches. And um, it is the black and white designs. That is on page 55 of the catalog. So don't forget, you guys, that I'm going to try and get these all these little stickies up here. So um, that's our mini catalog. And don't forget because you um, want to get your celebration items as soon as you can. So when you place an order, any products, it doesn't have to be products that I used in my class. It doesn't even have to be fall products. Anything you want, your order is going to qualify for celebration. So be sure you get it in what you want because... Um, they're going to go quickly, and when they go, they're gone. Um, Sherry, this was a great class. Beautiful paper. <laughs> Jackie, cute nails. Thank you. I always like to play around with my nails. <laughs> they are a lot of fun, and it's very relaxing for me to um, kind of get creative with my nails, just like I do with my cards. So thanks for tuning in, you guys. And Sherry, I'm so glad that you took the time to spend the class with us. I know it was kind of a a long day, but hopefully it was worth it. And um, I had a great time. I like to spoil you guys and I like having you here. So thanks for um, coming and spending your day with me. And Carol, thanks for watching. Jackie, thanks for watching. I'm glad you guys like the cards and I hope to see you again um, soon. Remember tomorrow night at six o'clock during my live, I will be doing, um, I think we're gonna do this class first. So this is the class that I'm going to do tomorrow night. And that's um, Bird on a Perch, I think is the name of that one. So that's the one that will be making these three cards tomorrow night during Create with Chris Live. So if you want to hop on then, we're going to be right here uh, at this in this Facebook group and these are the cards we're going to be making so hopefully I'll see you ladies then have a great day bye bye